coming. Oh! Hey, mama! <laughs> my baby! Yeah. Come here. Oh my god, look at my baby. Oh. I miss you, come here. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you, mama. I don't need to say anything. Canada is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. Mom, I miss home. I know. Most especially your meal. You know what? I prepared your favorite. But firstly, let me go and unpack. Go inside, I'll Mama. help you and unpack. Mama, the unpack can wait. Meal first, please. <laughs> no problem. At least let's go upstairs. Mm. <laughs> it's okay, let me have one. Let me have one. Please. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I miss you. You're welcome. Look at you. you <laughs> I said I wanna go to play a perfect role in loving you. I had wrote in my journal things I wanna do to be the perfect one in love. Mom? <laughs> I know that. I'm so sorry. Have you been standing there for so long? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, I'm very fine. <laughs> so tell me, sit, sit. <laughs> tell me, have you been missing Canada already? Mom, there's nothing to miss. I'm here and you're here with me. <laughs> <laughs> so gist me about Nigeria, what did I miss? Ah, Nigeria, nothing more so. Election happened. Come Mom, we forget about election. Say ah, something else. Nothing, no. Things are very expensive once you get to the market. I know. Things increase <laughs> Too bad. Excuse me. <laughs> Mom. Hey. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> How are you doing? Nigeria is fine. How's Canada? Of course, I will. Can't wait to see you. <laughs> it's fine. I'll send your regards to her. All right. Bye. I'll see you when school commences. 
All right, take care. So, who is the person you were talking to? Ah, my classmate in school. She said wow. she can't wait to see me. Wow. <laughs> and she sends her regards. Oh. You know, I always talk about you in school. Mm. Before uncle. I don't understand. <laughs> Mom. My one and only. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mom. Mom, no more lies. What is wrong with you? And please don't tell me nothing. You have to tell me if there is anything. You know I can't risk losing you. You're all I have. No, my dear. I'm not all that you have. Ah, oh, please. Don't tell me it's about that man, your husband. I am not in the mood to talk about him. No, it's not about him. I have a sister. What? Mom, you have a sister? Yes. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I don't remember you having any relative. Oh, wait a minute. Is she the one in the picture you always there? Do you notice? Uh, Mom, it's obvious. I mean, you stare at that picture often. Even a blind person would notice. <sighs> I've been waiting for the right time to tell you about it. My late mother gave birth to just me and my sister. Her name is Sandra. She's a no-nonsense person. So, seeing how our father maltreated our mom, this made her develop this hate for the opposite gender. believe you have a sister and I don't know anything about her. I thought you and your husband was the only family I have. John, that man is your father. Mom, no father abandons his nine months old child for no reason. So please, we're not talking about him. Okay. Mom, so you have a sibling? Yes. She's married and she has two kids. Really? Yes. I have track record of my sister. I know where she lives. She's into fashion business and she owns a boutique. So mom, why are you telling me all this now? Because I've been training you for what I'm about to tell you. I don't want my sister to suffer more than she has already. So I realize her marriage is her only source of happiness. So I don't want her to listen. Why would she lose her marriage? Does this have anything to do with the way your husband left? John, that man is your father. Oh, whatever. Please. Do you think her husband would leave her house? So? Yes. Would drive her husband their way. Oh, Mom, what are you saying? Sandra is damaged. She hates me so much, and I don't even blame her for, for that. But then again, she needs somebody to look out for her. Hmm. Mom, you're beginning to talk like an old dying actress in Nigerian movies. <sighs> and believe me, it's beginning to scare me. Growing up, our mom preferred me. She loved me better because she thought that I am smarter. My mom, she will go out buy gifts for me, she won't buy for my sister. She did not even pretend about it. So on her 17th birthday, she left the house and never returned. Wow. <sighs> so how come you know? How did you find out about her? How come you know so much about her family? Because I kept track record of her all these years. So why haven't you confronted her? Because I don't want to lose her forever. Yes, we don't talk, but at least I see her. Not that my sister and I know. 
the moment she sensed my presence, that would be all. And that would break my heart deeply. Do you know my sister lives in this city with her family? As a matter of fact, they don't even live too far from us. So that is why I want to, to do this particular one for me. Reasons why I said you should come home. And what is it? I want you to save my sister. <laughs> save her from herself before what I fear the most happens. Mom, you're beginning to talk like I have some spiritual power somewhere that I'm not aware of. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm serious. Because I'm not understanding anything anymore. Either if my sister is happy in her home, then I will be happy. And every other thing will fall in place. <sighs> okay. So what is my role in this? I want you to go and live with my sister. Please. How is that possible? You said you don't want to risk her seeing you and disconnecting with you for life. Yes, she won't. At least not, not yet. I've trained you for this all these years. Don't worry, it will work. Okay. Mom, I don't even know what to do. I don't I don't know where to start. <clears throat> Everything that you need, I have it already. Believe me, it will work. Trust me. Don't worry. It will work. Okay? It's all On your way, on your journey, I said I would look on to be a perfect role in love and love. I had wrought in my journey, things I wanna do to be the perfect one. Yes, young lady, how can I help you? My name is Joan, sir. I am in need of a job. Well, we don't give jobs here. Why don't you just try somewhere else? Okay? Sir, please. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we don't give jobs here. Okay? Try, try, try somewhere else. Hmm? Are you a ritualist? Why are you just standing there behind me? Um, mommy, please, can you help with my assignment? Let me see. But, um... Is this not the same thing I helped you with a few days ago? This same one? I seriously don't understand where you got this dullness from. It's definitely not from my side of the family. Because I don't understand this. Very soon, your younger sister will come and meet you in that your class. Then she'll pass you and go. Oh, no, do. Oh, look at my assignments. Uh -uh. Sharp girl. High five. <laughs> you deserve ice cream from me tomorrow. Yes, thank mm? you, Mom. <laughs> okay, let me go and finish it. Okay, darling. Mm. My star. Come on, sit here. Let, let, let me work on the thing. Huh. Be 
did you come with him? Oh, I should lose my tongue. I should lose my tongue now to write on the paper. Huh? Go and get something for me to write with. Good morning, Ma. Yes, good morning. Uh, my, Ma, my name is Juan. I am in need of a job. A job? There's no job here. Uh, I'm sorry, Ma, but... Wait a minute. Are you the same person my husband said came here in search of a job yesterday? Yes, Ma. There is no job here. Please leave. Don't know if you're hard of hearing. Ma, please. I really can't understand some people. How do you go about people's houses demanding a job? Let me guess. The same girl? The same girl! Imagine her coming back here on a Saturday. The audacity. Darling, people are going through a lot. Oh, please. She carry her a lot and go to her family. My family and I don't need any help. Darling, this house is too quiet. Where are the children? They are in their rooms. What are they doing in their rooms? Reading. Oh, are they, are they having exams? This one they're reading in their rooms even on a Saturday? You know, sometimes, Owen, I wonder at you. Must they be having exams before they read? Why are you asking me silly questions? I really don't want to say you're dumb because I don't want to be disrespectful. It's just, I don't know what kind of things you do. Just be asking, asking questions that you don't, don't have any proper answer to. What did I say wrong? Imagine that girl is still there. Which girl? The job seeking girl. No. What's she doing there? Honestly, this is starting to piss me off. Who knows if she wasn't even sent here to spy on us? Spy? Nah. She looks innocent. Innocent, my foot. Look, I'm going there to. Just felt strange. How do you mean, strange? How? The kids are about to start special exams and I don't want them to be distracted when they're studying. I think we might actually need some help. So because the kids are starting special exams, they can't do anything in the house anymore? No, honey, it's just that... Uh... It's just that nothing. As I've told you before, I don't want any help, any nanny, or even a cleaner. Those people can be very dangerous. Yes, but... It's just, my spirit tells me, my spirit tells me we should take this girl in. I, I think we should employ this You don't girl. know this girl from anywhere. And you just need a day to know someone. You could interview her. You said it again, no? Why are you shouting now? Why are you shouting? Can't you talk without shouting? Uh -uh. I'm trying to tell you something and you're shouting. What's the matter? Where are you going? 
I've always had this problem with you. Eh? You never stay, stay and, 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 and let's talk about something. Discuss things like a man. You just be shouting. Am I shouting? Am I not talking normally to you? Why do you need to shout? Speak at a normal tone. Do you think she's still out there? Like you care. Come on, Sandy. I'm just trying to be careful here. You know, you can't be too sure with these people. I don't think she's still there. She must have left by now. Can we check? Why are you still here? Sir, I don't, I don't know why my spirit is determined to ask you to get me a job. Uh, maybe it's the spirit directing me, and his direction has never failed me. Um, are you sure nobody sent you here to spy on us? No, ma, nobody sent me. I am just a girl in search of job. Please, please, ma, please, sir. I really need this job. I would have loved to attend to you, but as you can see, it's already late. So go home, come tomorrow, we'll see what we can do. Thank you so much. Uh, but coming back tomorrow does not mean that you already have the job. Honey, please. On your way, on your journey, I said I will go. She's beautiful. I know. We are beautiful in our family. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she will accept me? Yes, I think. I know that. I, I know you will succeed in this mission. As long as you don't forget anything written on that diary. Mom. Yes, dear. I'll miss you. And I will miss you too. You see, we just need to make this work. And besides, you are not going out of the family now. Sandra is family. You are right. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to do this for me. Mm, it's fine, Mom. Anything for you. All right. I have to be my own. Good night. Good night. Imagine Patricia calling me a jerk. And why is she calling you a jerk? Mom, he refused to share his juice with me even after promising that if I helped him with his home phone, he would share his juice with me. Did you help him with his home phone? Yes, Mom, I did. So, Patrick, you want to eat your cake and have it? No, Mom, I give up. It's so small, it can't even quench my thirst. Oh, Mom, she's being greedy. And you are being what? Huh? Young man. I suggest you give her the entire pack of juice. Because if you were smart, your kid sister wouldn't be helping you with your own fun. Mom, that's not fair. That's not fair. Young! Better not let me get you there. Give her the entire pack. Twat. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Sorry for keeping you waiting. What's that your name again? John. My name is John. John. Um, like I told you yesterday, I don't actually have any job for you, but um, I'll let you stay for a month with pay, of course. Oh, 
Thank you so much, ma. God bless you. Mm. I don't actually need a house help here. As you can see, my kids are big enough to do things for themselves. But they have exams coming up, and I don't want them to be distracted with house chores. Also, I have um, some fashion courses I'm taking for a month, so. I understand, ma. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And I promise I won't. <laughs> oh, no, don't disappoint yourself. Because if I find any laxity, I just throw you out. Hmm? Thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. OK, um, let me call someone to help to take you around. Patricia! Patricia! Patricia, come and show her around. It's late already. Where am I still? The books are here. Sandra, my sister, how I miss you. I miss you. Patrick! Yes, Mom. Clear your table. Okay, Mom. my earrings. I'm very certain these earrings were here. Patrick! Where are my earrings? Mom, I don't see any earrings. If you lie to me, you will not like what your eyes will see now. Uh Patrick, bring out mom's earrings. Stop making her angry. I don't have your earrings, mommy. I'm saying the truth. I'm not with you. I hope I'm not breeding a thief in this house! Patrick, where did you keep the granite pill? In the dustbin. 
and I didn't see my mom's earrings. So just the wristwatch I saw. Okay, ma, let me quickly check the trash bin. Oh, is it that he's now blind? That he didn't see the earrings there? Let me check it first. So people now have to check for you? Eh? You should have told me you needed glasses. What's the matter with you? You are dumb and now you're blind? Hey, ma, I found it. I told you, mom, I didn't steal it. You told him when you didn't see it. You're not ashamed of yourself. You're, you're so dull that you can't differentiate between earrings and grandma pills. Even your younger sister will never make such a mistake. Stupid fool. Stupid fool. Okay. Okay. Are you sure mom is, is really my biological Shh, mother? Shh, don't say that. I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired of everything. She's your mother. She loves you. She does not love me. Please, I don't. She doesn't love it's me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She loves Patricia and, and she hates me. It's okay. Yeah. She treats me like I'm not a son. I think she's just hungry. It's okay. Everything will be fine, right? Okay. Hey. It's okay. I can't believe you sometimes, Owen. Oh, it's now Owen and not Honey. Oh, please don't be pathetic. Do you know what I go through sometimes in that shop? Huh? Do you know what it feels like to find out that your staff, who you placed your trust in, are stealing from you? And you want me to, 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 to keep quiet? I never asked you to keep quiet. I was only saying that there are more ways of handling such issues rather than arresting them. Oh, so I should play a pity game with my money? Do you think I pick my money from the ground? Choose your words carefully, Sandra. Choose your words carefully. Or what will happen? If I don't choose my words carefully, what will happen? Eh? What will you do about it? What will you do about it? Oh, well, come and answer me now. I thought you were a man. What will you do? Will you beat me? Hello, Mom. This house is too hot for my liking. Do you think I can do this? I really pray God will come to my aid. Someone is coming. Someone. Who finished it now? Eh? Things will finish and you won't talk. Nobody will talk. Just be swallowing things. People don't be swallowing things like demons in this house. <laughs> Babe, is my breakfast ready? Babe, I'm talking to you. It's my breakfast ready. Please, stop. Stop what? I don't understand. Okay. Please. It's my breakfast ready because I already told you I'm late for an appointment. Are you the first person to be late for an appointment? And where is that coming from? Oh, when you're just so unreasonable. You actually woke me up just for me to make breakfast for you. Are you kidding me? But this is not the first time I'm waking you up to... to... Exactly! And I blame myself for responding to you those other times. Well, this time you learn.
Excuse me, ma. Yes? Um, the soup remaining for the kids contains just one meat. Oh, that's true. I forgot we were running low on meat. You should have reminded me. Sorry about that. Mm. I was thinking if I should divide it into two for oh. them. Why? Just give the meat to Patricia. She's a growing child. She needs it more. Ma? Are you hard of hearing? I don't like when people ask me unnecessary questions. I just told you you should give the meat to Patricia. Uh -uh. Why didn't you understand there? Okay, ma. Can I come in? Okay. Can I teach you? Auntie Joanne, I've been stuck with one question since morning. I mean, it's as if I'm going around in circles. So even if you want to teach me, I'll not understand. Say it's who? I am dull and dumb. Huh. My mom even tells me every single day, so there's no issue that anything for me, so... Hey, you're not dull. No child is. Oh. So are you trying to see my mom's lying? Listen. Mothers are not always right, okay? Mm. You are smart. All you need to do is to ask your teacher's questions. Anything you don't understand. And I'm also here to assist you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Patricia doesn't ask for help. I'm sure that's why my mom loves her mother. Hey, your mother loves both of you equally. Don't say that. Okay. Hey, I am here. If you need help, call me. I'll always assist you, okay? So can I teach you? Yes, please. All right, I'll just... Yeah. So, number, number seven. Number seven? Yes. So this one is difficult for you. You didn't say anything. Sense. Give me, let me help you. <laughs> All right. That's first term. Yes, A first equals term. to three. Yes. All right. This one is simple now. Hmm? This is the question that I'm struggling with this morning. <laughs> Don't this worry, I'm going to teach you. <sighs> Joan! Please, eh? I forgot to tell you to pick beans, eh? Please quickly start picking the beans, eh? Let me cook. The um, woman will soon be home for dinner. I already made dinner. Hey, this girl, you won't kill me. Huh? Who asked you to do so? Owen doesn't eat anyone's food. It's only my food he eats. What did you make? Rice and beans with um, fish stew. How did you know what I wanted to cook? Did I mention it to you? I, I thought you would like it. Wait, let me see. No, what... I thought you would like it. That was why I made it. You can come and see. How do you like it? I know I didn't cook. Who made this food? I did, ma. Who taught you how to cook like this? My mother. It's her favorite. Samantha, how can mom give me this tiny food and give you this large quantity? Maybe because you haven't finished yours, Josh. That's a lie. I finished mine even before you did. Sandra, please stop. Eat your food. Maybe when you finish this one, you can have mine. Eat your food. I don't want to have mine. Mom's favorite. Sandra, stop. Ma, do you like it? Yeah, it's, 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 it's fine. Did I teach you 
Did I teach you how to make this? No, ma. Okay. Oh, we won't even know the difference. Okay. I'm glad you like it, ma. some more oh <laughs> i really want more <laughs> oh so delicious <laughs> just as always thank you <laughs> your fingers. Oh, sorry, ma. And sit properly. Sorry, ma. Thank you, dear. If I don't take proper stock of these things myself, nobody will do it. Those are my sales girls, they are just useless to me. I'm just paying salary for nothing. Mm -hmm. The clothes are beautiful and of good quality. Right? Yes. <laughs> Especially mm. the green one. 
<laughs> I know it is your favorite color. How do you know green is my favorite color? Um, you know, green is a very beautiful color and it symbolizes fruitfulness. I could rock it any time, any day. And you know you're a woman of great taste. It would be your favorite color. You're right, actually. Green is my favorite color. Matter of fact, I think I'll keep this for myself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking it to the shop again. That would be nice. Okay. Thanks for the water. Well done, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I want to tell you something. What is it? Have you heard of one eyed Stacy? No, I haven't. Okay. Stacy was a beautiful girl. Smart and intelligent. But she was rude. She was rude to everyone that comes around her. One day, a monster came into her house. She was wailing and shouting. But no one came to her rescue because she was rude to them. And the monster took one of her eyes. Since then, she is known as One-Eyed Stacy. So how does this affect me? My dearest Patricia, You know, respect means you care enough to think about other people's feelings before you act. You need to learn to respect people. Okay? That's the gateway to life. Or don't you want to prosper in life? Yes, I want to ask you one. Then learn to respect people, especially your brother. Yes, auntie. I promise me you're going to respect him from today. I promise you that I will. You sure? Yes. Come here, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Hmm. Okay. Be a good girl, always. Okay. Sandra, look at me. You just can't be taking decisions like that. Eh? I see nothing wrong with the decision I took. Okay, you're trying to tell me it's okay for you to be taking decisions anyhow, even when you're under a man in this house. Eh? Young woman, you better stay back. I've told you, you will never step out of this house again. Okay? You will never. Listen and listen clearly. Alright? No more business. No more jobs. No more associating with people. Again. I'm done with that. Okay? And my decision is final. Nonsense. I so please. Well then, okay. And when your decisions come crumbling, don't come looking for me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you actually have an overrated opinion of yourself. Look for you as what or as whom. Hmm? Oh God, I get out. Make I beat. I will never get into a situation whereby I will look for you. Rubbish. Excuse me, some orange juice. Okay, ma'am. Now, now, get to it now. Okay, ma'am. He will love it if you don't talk back at him. Excuse me? Ma'am. Respect is the greatest form of love. 
Without respect, love is meaningless. It comes in a package. Love is a combination of respect, friendship, communication, and companionship. So, you think because I allowed you into my home, you now have the right to tell me how to run my home or how to marry my husband. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, you want, you want to take him? Go you want to marry him? Man, no. Then mind your bloody business and do what I asked you to do. Sure, man. As a matter of fact, go, 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 go and clean the room. Go and clean my room, please. Let me do this myself. Okay, ma. What? What? I'm still amazed you finally came to see me after all these years. Well, this is where I stay now. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So, tell me. How have you been coping without me all this while? And missing the lovely moment we shared. Oh, see how pale marriage have torn my bow. Tessie, hmm? you know we can't do this anymore. Sezu, you're married and I am not. Besides, I had you before her. I think this is wrong. Don't worry. Nobody is judging it. I am here now. And just like old days, I'm going to take very good care of you. Hmm? I think it was a mistake calling you. I have to go. But she doesn't care. Yes, a lady that treats a man like trash doesn't deserve his faithfulness. Come on, baby. You are a good man. You deserve much better. Let me treat you well. I know my wife deserves this. But my children, they don't deserve a cheating father. I'm sorry I called you. Respect is the greatest form of love. Without respect, love is meaningless. It comes in a package. Love is a combination of respect, friendship, communication, and companionship. I had written my journal in someone adore. Wow, how does one get into this house full of rage? I hope this woman is calm now because, sincerely speaking, I don't have any strength for nagging. I said I wanna go to 
Honey, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm. How was your day? Fine. Is everything okay? Breakfast is ready. Breakfast? Yes, sir. And who made it? Sir? Who made the breakfast? I did. I know you only like to eat food made by your wife. You made breakfast? Yes, your favorite. Hold on. Her Royal Majesty of a wife made breakfast for her original husband <laughs> at this time of the morning? Well, Her Royal Majesty is first and foremost the wife of a king. So, king of my kingdom, please come to the dining and eat your food. Hmm? <laughs> On your way, Thank you, Lord. It's working. To be the perfect one in love Do you think I should still call him? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I just a little patience. Just a little patience. Because if you call him around this time, he will think you're being impatient or even manipulative. I believe he will call you. Manipulative? Mm. I never thought of it that way. Thank you, honey. I think I'll go with what you said. Are you okay? How do you mean? The calmness, the respect, in fact, the whole change of attitude. I don't understand. <laughs> Honey, you are my king and I am your queen. And a queen respects and adores her man. I've come to understand that and I'm good with it. May, may this be permanent in our lives. <laughs> Say amen, please. Amen. <laughs> Please, before I get back, eh? try and get to the market. Okay. Um, I think we're out of yams. Get us some yams so we'll make pottage. Okay. I don't think you should be as much. Let me get some. It's scared. <laughs> Kids, I don't Hold want up. to be late, please. You're already getting gifts from admirers in this estate. Oh, Auntie Joanne has a boyfriend. Must you talk? I wasn't talking to you. Patrick, do not bully your sister. Bullying? Seriously, Mom. Hey, my friend. If you break that door... I will use your school fees to fix it. Um, school fees are cuckoo a waste. Block Ma, it. it's not for me. There's a note inside. Mm. 
I'll keep it inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the snack he asked for. Oh, okay. Thank you. Please just drop it on the table. Okay. Mm. Ma, I would like to discuss something with you. Mm. Joan. I hope it's not one of your motivational speeches again. <laughs> Ma, I believe God sent me to your household for a reason. And I know in my spirit, I have a positive purpose for coming here. Joan. Ma? Out with it. Just say, what is it? Ma, it's about your kids, Patrick and Patricia. What about my kids? Um, I don't want to sound rude, but you're practicing parental favoritism <laughs> among the kids. No, no, no. That's not true. I love both my kids. I, I, I didn't say you don't love them, but Patrick thinks you love Patricia more than him. He told you that? No, he doesn't have to tell me. That's what it's looking like. Ma, parental favoritism can cause damage to kids, especially the unfavored ones. It could lead to low self-esteem, suppressed talent, and can even make the victim shy away from um, social activities. Most children end up being bitter children, and I know no parents want that for their child. Sandra, what are you doing? Since my child to prefer you to me, I'll make sure you don't enjoy all that she has been getting for you and not me. Sorry, Ma, I don't understand. Please, I, um, I want to be left alone for a while. Okay, Ma. How are you doing, Mom? As you can see, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm better. I was worried about you. No, you don't have to be. So, how has life been over here? <sighs> God has been taking control. Things are working according to plan. Wow. I'm happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Mom, I have to go back inside before the kids get back from school. Oh, okay. Thank uh, you so much. That's fine. Thank you. Take care of yourself. Thank you. I love you too. <laughs>
Mom? Hmm? What's going on? What do you mean? I thought you usually go back to the shop after dropping us. Not only did she pick us from school, but she isn't rushing out as usual. My people change as come. <laughs> Woman, can you simply tell us what's going on? Yes, tell us. <laughs> mm. Power to the people. Power. Power, Power to the people. Power. Power. Mm. Relax, children, mm. because indeed, change has come. Indeed. Indeed. I will build you new roads. Yes. Yes, so. Just vote for me, I will build new hospitals. We'll vote for you. Go, mommy. I'll cook you new food. Yes, rice and shrimp. Spaghetti and turkey. Go, <laughs> Go, 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 People are hilarious. My home is coming together. And things have started falling into place since Juan came into my home. Ma, are you okay? No. Oh. I have been knocking and you, you didn't answer. I'm okay, dear. I was just carried away. Okay, Ma. I don't know if you will like the okra or Igusi soup. Mm, okra will be fine. Okay, Ma. Um, Juan. Ma? I don't know who you are. But I want to say thank you. You've done my home a lot of good. Before you came, my home was in disarray. But now it's from one level of sweetness to another. I mean, <laughs> I now speak to my husband in a way he can't complain of. <laughs> Imagine him getting me a gift the other day just for giving him peace. <laughs> and my children, who I never seemed to have enough time for, you've helped with that too. Ma, it's God doing it, not me. Then you are God sent. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ma, you said okra, right? Okra. Okay. I'll make it immediately. Yes, come in. Come in, come in. Ma, are you okay? Oga and the kids left an hour ago. I was wondering why you haven't slept for work. I've just been. My head is banging and I'm so dizzy. I'm so sorry about that, Ma. Is there anything I can do to help? A cup of tea would help. Okay, Ma. Sorry, Ma. So how is Madame doing? She's not. She's not doing so well at the moment. She needs blood transfusion. I offered mine. It wasn't a match. So at this moment, I don't know what to do. Blood? Yes. It's got to that. Yes. Sir, so I can offer mine. You never can tell. It could be a match. You want to donate? Yes, sir. Uh, it, it could be a match. I, I don't want anything happening to my auntie. Your madame, you mean? She's all in one. I'll donate my blood to her, please. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, Thank you sir. very much. Mm -hmm. Well, sir, who made this food? I did. You did? 
Yes, How sir. come it tastes so much like my wife's? Um, I have been learning from Madame. She told me how much you love her food, so I had to learn her recipe. Oh. Yes. Okay. Well, you learned very well. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You can go. Enjoy your meal, sir. Thank you. John, Sir? you are here. I thought you would be rested after having donated blood. Ah, no, sir. I rested yesterday. I'm very well. I thought I, it's wise to quickly make something for her. I was about coming to the hospital. No, that won't be necessary anymore since I'm here. I will take it with me while going back. Okay, sir. Meanwhile, I have to freshen up. Yes, okay, sir. And then, um, John. Sir? Thank you for so much for donating the blood. Ah, sir, that, <laughs> that's no problem. She's my blood. I don't get it. How is my wife your blood? Uh, sir, you can go and freshen up now. You know, she'll need someone at the moment to stay with her. Uh, don't worry, we'll discuss about that when you come back. If you say so. Her blood. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I didn't know it would get to that. Mom, it's just blood. I am better now. Let's just pray for her to get better soon. Hmm? So that I can leave this place. My stay is almost over and I can't wait to be home. Oh. Thank you very much. I am super proud of you. Hmm. You are the brain behind all these. You will always be my role model. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Start going. Right. Get out get out of my car. <laughs> get out of my car. <laughs> I know. You, can't go, you just go around in circles. I know. Wait. Okay, you can't I play can't. this game. Let me show you how to play. Ah. See, 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 see. Mommy, welcome. <laughs> we missed you, Mom. <laughs> oh, we missed you too, my prince and princess. We missed you too. Mm. Hey, guys. <sighs> Allow your mom to find a seat, right? Okay. Okay. Mm. She needs all back. the rest she can get. <sighs> Welcome, ma. So good to be home. Ah, Joanne. Mm, how are you? How's the house been? Fine, ma. But I bet that is not what you should be asking. Mm. I made fish pepper soup to help you get well. Ah, God bless you. Exactly. Honey, Joanne is right. Mm. You need all the rest mm. you can get. And then, John, Sir? bring her the fish pepper soup. That's exactly what I want to eat. Ah. Oh, that thing. Smells from home. I'm tired smelling drugs. <laughs> Alright, welcome, Dad. Yes, my dear. So, how are you feeling this morning? <laughs> As you can see, your woman is feeling much stronger. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Great. Honey, I've been meaning to ask. Yes. All right. Who donated blood to me when I was at the hospital? Joan did. Joan? Yes, she did. And then, there's something I've noticed. Her meals taste so much like yours. And oh. when I asked her, she said she learned from you. Uh, yes, 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 she learned from me. All That's right. true. <laughs> and then one more thing. She said something about being your blood. She said that? Yes. She said categorically that she's your blood. What does that mean? 
Well, I suggest you ask her yourself. alive or where she is at the moment. She's alive. She lives in this town. As a matter of fact, she's the one that initiated this whole plan. <sighs> it don't make sense now. Now I see why you cook exactly like me. The way you sit, the way you talk, I... I knew it all looked familiar, but I never in a million years would I have tied it to Samantha. You are my blood. Yes, Auntie, I am. <laughs> you are my family. <laughs> home so long ago. I didn't, I didn't know my sister's whereabouts. I, I didn't know she had a child this big. But you told me your family was dead. You told me you had no family. I was bitter. I was so bitter. I hated my mother for choosing my sister over me because she was smarter than me. I hated my father for being an abuser. When I met you all those years ago and I, and I told you they were dead, it's because they did not exist to me anymore. I was damaged. I see. But now, I am free. And to think I was, I was treating our children the same way I hated my mother for doing. Until Juan made me realize what I was doing. I'm sorry. I am sorry for lying to you about my past and my family. It's okay. It's only the past now. But let me tell you. of cheating on you, but I didn't. Because I love you so much, despite the way you treated me. And it's all gone now. This is a new beginning for us and the kids. I love you. I love you too. You guys are up so early. Auntie Joanne, is it true? About what? Is it true that I'm really dead? Yes, ah. mom and dad told us everything. Yes, that's true. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys myself. Nah, anyway, I never looked at you as a maid though. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> Since you have never looked at me as a maid, why not help me out with this? Of course. Oh. And you help me out in the kitchen? No problem. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wow, so you do this one? My mother had a difficult time being a single mother after my dad deserted her. I can imagine how difficult it was for her. She made sure I did not lack anything. She worked so hard for her money and made sure I studied in one of the best universities in Canada. Each time I come to Nigeria, I help her manage her business. She's the one that brought up this plan, thanks to my mother's diary. Hmm. I want to see my sister. Don't worry, Auntie. I'll bring her here. No, 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 no. Take me to her. She has done so much already. Why stress her? Just take me there. I need to see her. Please. Expecting you. I can't believe this is happening. Me neither. Sam, I am so, so sorry for all the things I did to you. Sam, I can't hold it against you. I totally understand. You became bitter due to mom's favoritism towards us. She made you that insecure child. So, on behalf of our mom, I'm so sorry. Mom, we are so rest in peace. Amen. She went through hell in the hands of that abuser we called father. Yeah, I still remember how. That lifestyle towards mom made you insecure and towards the opposite gender. That you even took it to your home. How... How did you know? I only confided in one person. Everyone knows I do not tolerate insensitive behavior from any man. But Sandy, when it comes to marriage, you need to learn to tolerate. Someone needs to play the fool to make it work. I'm very glad you said someone. Well, that someone can never be me. Owen is just looking for my trouble. Well, I suggest you let this issue be. I cannot let it be. And you also people know what my mother went through in the hands of my father just because she wanted to be the peacemaker. No man will take me for a fool all in the name of marriage. I can't believe Anna has been talking to you. I begged her not to tell you that I have her contact. She really kept your secret. <laughs> she gave me all the information that I needed to know about you. All the things that has been happening in your marriage and how that this lifestyle has made you change everything. <laughs> 
John. Give me my diary. In here, I wrote everything that we shared, everything that you love, every good memories that we've had as siblings. And I would read it every night before I sleep. And look at you, my sister sitting beside me that I've missed so much. So my father, you did all this. You put in so much effort into bringing us back together. That's because I love you so much. I love you too. Dropped me off here and went out for an appointment. Let me oh. see. Okay. Hello, baby. Oh, you're here now. Okay. My husband is here. Okay. Owen, my husband. No. no! This is Mr. Owen, Auntie Sandra's husband. He's a good man. No! This is not Sandra! The man that abandoned you! Osaze. Yes. Yes. What? Um, Osaze is my twin. Liar! Hmm? Oh, oh, he's telling the truth. Osaze is his twin brother. No! 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 Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. My... My brother has a mark. Yeah. I have mine here. That's it. He is telling the truth. God! It's a mark. Osaze, Osaze lives in this town with his wife. It's, it's Osaze Juan's father. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. On the contrary, I should be apologizing on his behalf for whatever he has. Mom, take me to him. Please do me this one favor. I need to see you. Please. On your way, on your journey, I said I would look on to be a perfect rule. Your husband. He's inside. Osas. Come on. You have two brother who abandoned you don't show face with his family people no. Hmm. He's coming. Bugger boy. Hey, sassy boy. <laughs> so you're my father? Hmm. Yes, Samantha, the woman you abandoned with her child, is my sister. And that child is this strong woman over here. Sandra, I don't know what you're talk about. See, nobody, I say, nobody go drag Osaze here with me. Osaze is my husband. Excuse me, excuse me, madam. Please keep it here. Oh, just hold it there. Nobody's interested in dragging anybody with you. Better As you can see, both of you are perfect match. You match each other, right? I'm here because my daughter wanted to see the face of the idiot that I abandoned her. Hold it there. Don't insult my husband. Thank you so much, mom, for showing me his face. I can now have face. You can go because you're not going to stay here. Me and you are not going to stay here. As they want you to talk, sir. What's, what's the problem? You can respect yourself, oh. Or say, respect yourself, oh. This is not going to enter this house, oh. I don't know what you are at the top. 
I said I wanna go 